Good morning, everyone. Let's get right into the Word of God. So today we're going to be reading Deuteronomy chapter 12. These are the statutes and judgments which ye shall observe to do in the land, which the Lord God of thy fathers giveth thee to possess it, all the days that ye live upon the earth. Ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess serve their gods, upon the high mountains, and upon the hills, and under every green tree. And ye shall overthrow their altars, and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of that place. Ye shall not do so unto the Lord your God, but unto the place which the Lord your God shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name even unto his habitation shall ye seek, and thither thou shalt come. And thither ye shall bring your burnt offerings, and your sacrifices, and your tithes, and heave offerings of your hand, and your vows, and your free will offerings, and the firstlings of your herds, and of your flocks. And there ye shall eat before the Lord your God, and ye shall rejoice in all that ye put your hands unto, ye and your households, wherein the Lord thy God hath blessed thee. Ye shall not do after all the things that we do here this day, every man whatsoever is right in his own eyes. For ye are not as yet come to the rest, and to the inheritance which the Lord your God giveth you. But when you go over Jordan, and dwell in the land which the Lord your God giveth you to inherit, and when, you give it her, when he giveth you rest from all your enemies round about, so that ye dwell in safety. Then there shall be a place which the Lord your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell there. Thither shall ye bring all that I commit you, your burnt offerings, and your sacrifices, your tithes, and heave offering of your hand, and all your choice vows which ye vow unto the Lord. And ye shall rejoice before the Lord your God, ye and your sons and your daughters and your men servants and your maid servants and the Levite that is within your gates, for as much as he hath no part nor inheritance with you. Take heed to thyself that thou offer not thy burnt offerings in every place that thou seest, but in the place which the Lord shall choose in one of thy tribes. There thou shalt offer thy burnt offerings, and there shalt um, thou shalt do all that I command thee. Notwithstanding thou mayest kill and eat flesh in all thy gates, whatsoever thy soul lusteth after, according to the blessing of the Lord thy God which he hath given thee. The unclean and the clean may eat thereof, as of the roebuck, and as of the harp. Only ye shall not eat the blood, ye shall pour it upon the earth as water. Thou mayest not eat within thy gates the tithe of thy corn, or of thy wine, or of thy oil, or of the firstlings of the herds, or of the flock, nor any of thy vows which thou vowest, nor thy free will offerings, or heave offerings of thine hand. But thou must eat them before the Lord thy God in the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. Thou, and thy son, and thy daughter, and thy manservant, and thy maidservant, and the Levite that is within your, or thy gates. And thou shalt rejoice before the Lord thy God in all that thou puttest thine hands unto. Take heed to thyself, that thou forsake not the Levite, as long as thou livest upon the earth. When the Lord thy God shall enlarge thy border, as he hath pursued or promised thee, and thou shalt say, I will eat flesh, because thy soul longeth to eat flesh. Thou mayest eat flesh, whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. If the place which the Lord thy God hath chosen to put his name there be too far from thee, then thou shalt kill of thy herd and of thy flock, which the Lord hath given thee, as I have commanded thee, and thou shalt eat in thy gates whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. Even as the roebuck and the heart is eaten, so thou shalt eat them, the unclean and the clean shall eat of them alike. Only be sure that thou eat not the blood, for the blood is the life, 
and thou mayest not eat the life with the flesh. Thou shalt not eat it. Thou shalt pour it upon the earth as water. Thou shalt not eat or thou shalt not eat it, and that it may go well with thee, and with the children after thee, when thou shalt do that which or that which is right in the sight of the Lord. Only thy holy things which thou hast, and thy vows, thou shalt take, and go into the place which the Lord shall choose. And thou shalt offer thy burnt offerings, the flesh and the blood, upon the altar of the Lord thy God, and the blood of thy sacrifices shall be poured out upon the altar of the Lord thy God, and thou shalt eat the flesh. Observe and hear all these words which I command thee, that it may go well with thee, and with thy children after thee forever, when thou doest that which is good and right in the sight of the Lord thy God, when the Lord thy God shall cut off the nations from before thee, whither thou goest to possess them, and thou succeedest them, and dwellest in their land. Take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by, the fall, or by following them, after that they be destroyed from before thee, and thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How did these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. Thou shalt not do so unto the Lord thy God, for every abomination to the Lord, which he hateth, uh, have they done unto their gods, for even their sons and their daughters they have burnt in the fire to their gods. What things soever I command you, observe to do it, thou shalt not add there, thereto, nor diminish from it. And that is the end of Deuteronomy chapter 12. As a summary of Deuteronomy chapter 12, we have the laws of the sanctuary. And God wanted Israel, when they possess the land to tear down the high places this is where they set their idols up and all that stuff and this is where they would serve them right or do the rituals kind of and it was on mountaintops hills and all that stuff and then they were to tear down the altars and you know do all that but the Lord was going to put his name in a place you know, for each tribe in their land to where they can offer up you know the offerings and all that stuff and then we learn about that this you know where it says the clean and the unclean you can eat or will eat or whatever right this isn't talking about unclean animals right or clean animals it's talking about people who are ceremonially clean and unclean right so if you were let's say you just buried your mother or something like that right which is touching a dead body right which made you unclean you were still able to you know partake in the food and you were still able to eat right and do the sacrifices because if you remember sacrifices are kind of like an appeasement meal right it's God smelling, you know, seeing if it's the right, you know, unblemished lamb of God, you know, the unblemished lamb. And then he's saying you can eat, you know, it's okay to eat. So you intake that, right? And then the blood is sprinkled on the altar and stuff like that, right? But anyways, let's go ahead and get to the last part here. There was something I wanted to... Okay. Yeah, no, um, that's pretty much it. Oh, yes, the blood, and they were to get the blood out, right? That's one thing you don't need is, you know, the fat and the blood, right? And the fat is usually used for a sin offering. So, anyways, um, that is the end, you know, of the summary of Deuteronomy 12. Thank you guys for listening, and you guys have a wonderful day. And one last thing, um, they are not, to, you know, to do anything that the inhabitants before them were doing. And not be ensnared by following their gods, and how to, you know, ask how to follow their gods. But anyways, guys, you guys have a wonderful day.